All right, so there is one more way we can do a config file that I kind of just figured out while I was doing the last video about config files. If you're dead set on having config.json file, then the last video about how to use a JSON file is your way to do it. However, if you're okay with it being config.js instead of config.json, we have one other way to do that. So what we can do here is, oops, this is looking too far ahead. What we can do here is go ahead and let's take our manifest and let's make a new file and call it config.js. Paste it. Let's just get rid of stuff that's not relevant. So just let's do that stuff. And then we'll just say var config equals. So now we're actually making like an object that has a name. Now that's our config file. So what we can do is in manifest, we can actually load it up as a background script prior to our background script loading. So config.js is going to load first, and then background.js is going to load. Okay, <clears throat> so if we do that, we actually load up the JS file first, which is loaded into the background. Now if we do that, we can actually ac access it by just saying uh, it's now global variable config. So that's fine, it's global. So if we actually load up our whole page now and reload our extension, you can see that here's our config loaded up as a JavaScript object. So we didn't have to do the AJAX. So if you watched the last video, we had to do an AJAX to the file. Don't have to do that. Don't have to do any of that. And now the only other thing we have to do is on the pop-up page, how do we get the config file here? Well, we load it up the same way we got to the console. So we'll just copy the console line. And we'll just say var config equals get background page dot config. So now that we've done that, and down here in our init, we just have a, our version is config that version. Now that we've done that, we can just re reload, and when we open our box, boom, there's our version number straight from our config. So, again, the last time we actually had to do some message passing to load up the file with Ajax, which is good to learn, but honestly, this is a way better way to do a config file, so I'm switching my stuff over to this. Uh, but yeah, so basically what we're doing here is we're loading up a second background script here under our manifest. So we're loading in config.js first, right? And the reason it can't be config.json is because if it was config.json, it wouldn't know what to do with the variable. So if you're dead set on having a .json syntax and having a straight up JSON file, uh, you're going to have to load it up with a Ajax call and then load it into a variable that way. But if you're not dead set on that, you could do it this way. Um, that also brings to mind that instead of doing message passing from the last one, you could also uh, you could also do the same Chrome dot extension to get background page to get the config from the last file too. So that's also an option. So a couple why, what, file, a couple ways of doing config file. I prefer this method of loading up as a JS file and just having its background script. So that works really well.